How's it? This is Chris. I'm at UH uh, in Hilo, at the University of Hawaii Hilo, and I wanted to use this real uh, easy to understand illustration to help people understand what it's like to exercise feet. And so I'm going to exercise feet in this button. Never been here before, but I know that uh, if I push this button, and uh, light's going to come on, and typically what will happen is, voila, you know, a door is going to open, and it's kind of. It's kind of like our feet. When you exercise feet in, in Jesus, uh, the door opens. And what we do is we come inside the door. It says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, it says that uh, to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. And what that means is Jesus, his promise is to, not only did I start a relationship with him, but it's really his kuleana or his responsibility to complete that work that he started in my life. And so it's kind of like this. We're right now on um, floor number one, and we're going to go, uh, this elevator is going to take us up three floors. And what I'm doing is I'm completely trusting in, I'm putting my trust, my faith in, in this elevator that I never rode in my life. And it's kind of like that with Jesus. I put my faith in Jesus, and it's His. He's going to take me from the first floor to the top floor, which is like heaven. In Philippians chapter one, verse six, it says, being confident in this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. And I take comfort and hope and encouragement in that, because what it means is that when I put my faith and my trust in Jesus, he's the one, he's the one who's going to perfect and complete all of those things in my life and so it's kind of like this sometimes people have this understanding like hey i put my faith and my trust in the elevator and now i'm going to make the elevator go up all by itself it would be kind of silly i got in at the first floor right by faith i pushed a button and then i simply got on the elevator and the by putting my trust in the elevator or by putting my trust in jesus jesus will take me from where I was to where he wants me to be. And it's so funny because today people are like struggling and they're trying to do it on their own. They're trying to be more religious and more righteous and all of these other things. And, and then people are like, well, once I'm in the elevator, I think I can get off the elevator. And they're over here trying to pull open the door. They're trying to get out of Christ. But you see, here's the thing. It really depends on Jesus. Not my good works. Not all of my, you know, it just simply means I'm in Christ. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, I make all things new. And that's the beautiful promise that he gives you and I. All you and I have to do is get in. Trust him. Just like I got in this elevator tonight and trusted the elevator to bring me from the ground floor to a higher level. And God, you can trust God just like that. See, because when I put my faith in Jesus on April 3rd, 1995, almost 18 years ago now, He took me from the ground floor to that place where I am today. And again, Philippians 1, 6 is the promise that being confident of this very thing, that He, Jesus, who began a good work in Chris Kuhl, will be faithful to complete it until the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's a promise today that I'll hold on to. I held on to that promise. The first time I heard it, I'm holding on to that promise today. It's all about Him. It's not about me. It's all about Him helping me. I don't have to make the elevator move. All I did was simply put my trust and my faith in Jesus, or like the elevator. And the elevator moved all by itself. See, God, God, when you put your faith in God, He will bring you there in his time, in his power, in his way. So I hope this little illustration helped you. And uh, next time, we'll come to you with another life illustration. Aloha.